about, well, it's the detective. Checking down another wayward husband to his mistress? Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? We're hiring, but, uh, I don't think you'd measure up. Don't be like that. You just got the look of someone who's in the market for a little insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything... Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Nick Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? You killed him. Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that we come in peace malarkey. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. Yes? Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Oh, a new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. Actually, I already took care of those super mutants. You did? Huh. Now that's service for you. Here's your money. Oh, and why don't you take this old book of mine? Been holding on to it for a while. If you ever happen to go back there. Hey, Daisy. Means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. Now you're here to trade. Sure. Let's take a look. Remember, no returns, exchanges, or death threats. Smell that? Wow. That's freedom. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, yeah. or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot? Designation, Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security-related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Now what are you buying? Your... 
An Assaultron? That's what my maker has called me. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. So what'll it be? Let's see what you have. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. You're blocking my light, man. <laughs> I heard you walked that freedom trail. What, you're some kind of, what do they call it? History buff? Didn't talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? Quarantine or some such? Damn, you get around. Ah, I need a place to stay. Try Hotel Rexford. Buddy, I gotta be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. Well, well. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about below me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Here for Amari? She's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself, all right? Got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Hi. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12-pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud vs. Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. That's an understatement. Things may look bad, but we gotta try to make it better. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, 
Everything's all set. There you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Come on. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the Cryo Vault and all. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime!